Let me tell you how the world really works. Since I walked through that door, you're not the same guy you used to be. Just imagine 16 vests filled with ceramic ball bearings, slipping by every metal detector in your country. And this is happening now. It's happening as we speak. Action. The movie took almost two years to film because of the Navy SEALs deployment cycles. Working with real hardware that's currently being used in combat deployments was extremely complicated. SEALs have this incredible mystery to them. There's a shroud of secrecy around the things that they do. We found five stories that have happened to these guys. Three days ago, two CIA agents, a Walter Ross and a Miss Lisa Morales, were ambushed inside their hotel room. And Miss Morales has been abducted. We wove a fictitious story threat through these events. We believe that this has been the work of a guy named Mikhail Troikovich, AKA Christo. Before she was captured, Morales was working on a possible link between our boy Christo and this guy, Abu Shabal. We wanted the story to talk about the scope of what the SEALs do. The movie represents the dynamic landscape of the world today. Shabal is an old school jihadi. He wants to kill Americans. The threats that are in this film are possible threats that are out there right now. So where are they going? In pick a city, they'll be there. It became an obsession to tell the story in an authentic way. And we felt the only way to do it was with the real guys. And you just couldn't do it with actors. Real people. Be safe. Blended with actors. Chris is worth close to a billion. It's created a new experience. Mom! The authentic action film. Lock it. Lock me! Lock it down! When we first started conceptualizing the film, time to get your frogman on. We were really thinking, you know, we're gonna cast actors and who's gonna portray some of the guys we've met. When I met Chief Dave, the six foot six, good looking guy from Staten Island. 12 was, plus years with the teams, and you don't know how to do this? Hey, wait till you have five kids, man. The light bulb just went off in my head. It was just one of those moments, it was like, we gotta cast the real guys. You're gonna be on Jay and Mouse. Yeah. Okay. These are your two guys you gotta spot. There was something special going on with both those guys and understanding who we are, which I think is very, very difficult for people to fall in on and understand quickly. I think it usually takes a while, if ever. These guys are the best in the world at what they do. What's good, go? Because they were so much better in the middle of the gunfight. They were so much better in their missions than you could ever do with actors or stuntmen. Three, two, one, go! It's like the most elite athletes. These guys are in the best shape of anyone that's out there in the professional sports world. Action! Any environment they can adapt to. They can do things that physically and emotionally that most men can't. Yeah! Die! Die! The way that we film this movie is very unique. When we were shooting the live fire environment, it was the biggest thrill I've gotten in a long time. We got live fire way more than blanks. About 4,000 rounds. The energy was just thick. They wouldn't do anything that wasn't real and authentic. Push in. Push in tighter. tighter. We ended up being able to shoot the action now, the way you'd watch a football game on TV. The SEALs were in the action. Senior, you're clear. Our biggest challenge was, frankly, to keep up with them. You're going to be seeing it through the eyes of the Navy SEAL. There's an intimacy to the action. It's tension like I've never seen tension before. Going in, going in! They're gonna hit us at home. That ain't gonna happen. Rock it out! To 
us and those like us. Damn few.